Well, I'm sure this has happened to you because it's happened to me. You're out wanting to photograph some place, maybe it's a building or a park or a beach or somewhere, and there are people everywhere. They're walking around. They're in the way. They just are ruining this pristine shot that you have in your mind. In the film days, you just had to wait for an opening, which may or may not ever occur. In the early digital days, you could solve it, but only through a nightmare of cloning and rubber stamping and getting rid of things, rebuilding background areas. It was not fun. But now, in the newer versions of Photoshop, there is a really simple way to deal with this, and it's called Smart Objects. So let's take a look at what that means for us. Here's some stuff that was taken this morning. This is the beach at Ocean Beach. And for purposes of our illustration, let's say what I really wanted was to get that beach with nobody on it. But I took a series of shots. They're all over the place. They're never not there somewhere. It was just maddening. But Photoshop has an answer. And here's the way it works. So step number one is going to be to select all of these shots that I took. And now we're going to go into Bridges Tool Palette. We'll pick Photoshop. And we'll come down to where it says Load Files into Photoshop Layers. This is exactly what you did with the fo Focus Stack. But if we look over here in the Layers area in the layers palette you can see them starting to form as it's loading them in one at a time okay there's our last layers it just loaded so just as we did with the focus stack we need to select all of them we need to make a stack so the top one is activated we'll come down to the bottom one do a shift click and they are now all selected. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that everything is lined up. Now this was shot on a tripod, but I noticed when I was shooting that a screw on the head was coming a little bit loose and there was just the slightest bit of play in it. Didn't seem like much, but when we're stacking photographs, it's really important to make sure that the main elements that we want are going to be lined up. So the first thing we're going to do is come over into Edit and do an auto align for these layers. So we'll click on that. We just want the auto align, the standard approach to it. We'll say OK. And now it'll sit and it'll grind away on that for a while. Now that we're all lined up, now we can proceed with the magic part of what we're doing. So we need to go into the Layer menu up here. We'll click on that. And now we need to go to where it says Smart Objects. And we want to convert this stack into a smart object. So we click on this. And go make another pot of coffee. And there we have our single layer. That's the smart object. Now we'll go back to layer, smart objects, and now we need to go down to where it says stack mode. And we need to choose median. All of these various stack modes do different kinds of math to the smart object stack that we've just created. But what we want is the one called median. So we'll click on that. And now, instead of just going and making coffee, we can book our flight down to Venezuela and go help Juan Valdez pick the coffee beans 
grind them, roast the coffee, and by the time we get back, after being delayed in flight and at the airport, this may have completely rendered things. Maybe. Of course, you wouldn't want to miss the end. It's pretty magical. And there, my friends, is the magic that just happened. Is that something? So now what we want to do is go in. We now have the piece that we can work with. It's now ready as a file with all of those people going. What is amazing is that through all of that movement, this little seagull never moved. It's still there, nor did these people. Anything that did not move is going to stay there. So now we're going to flatten this image, bring it back to something reasonable sized, and now we can work on it. And there you have it, a clean beach. All you had to do was create that stack, and all of that is gone away. If you have ever in the old days, or even in the new days, set and tried to clone out or content-aware delete all of those people, you'll realize how clean this is and how well it really works.